up, y'all? This is Big Pimpin' coming at you with the Big Pimpin' Sports Show. I'm with my man Cletus here. How y'all doing today? We're here to talk to you about the 2011 NFL football season and take you down from the playoffs, from the wild card down to the Super Bowl. And talk about our biggest disappointments of the season and teams that missed the playoffs. Yeah, we're going to get right into it. We're going to talk about the NFC and see who we got going there. You know, I got, I'm going to go through my top six real quick. Uh, number one, I got the Green Bay Packers. Obviously, they're 10-0 undefeated. They're not going to be stopped right now. Uh, number two, I got the San Francisco 49ers. They clearly have their division wrapped up. No threats behind them. Uh, number three, I got New Orleans edging out Atlanta in that division. Going to be a close one, but I got New Orleans over them to get the number three seed. Right. And then uh, the other division, I got da or New York Giants beating Dallas. And taking Dallas out. And I actually do have Dallas missing the playoffs. But my number five overall seed squeezing in the wild card is Atlanta. They're, I think they're going to have a good enough record where they'll end up getting in. They beat some important teams. And then final spot in the NFC, my wild card sleeper, the Detroit Lions. I got them having a good enough record squeezing on into the playoffs. So therefore I got Dallas getting edged out, not winning their division. They're going to end up losing a couple tough games at the end. Possible Giants will beat them, in my opinion. And then I got Chicago with losing Jay Cutler. I, I, they, I don't think they'll rebound, and they won't end up making the wild card. Wow. Those are some, some big words from the little man. Ah, we'll see. <laughs> yep, we'll see on that. What, what do you got as your top six on that NFC, NFC? And then we'll go into the matchups. All right, my top six, I have Green Bay, of course. It's sold deal. Um, yeah. You know, they're they're... What else can you say about Green Bay right now? Undefeated offense, defense. I, I understand yeah. that. And they could go undefeated um, for the regular season. It's a possibility, but if I think they it's the best thing that they lose. If they beat Detroit twice. They're, if they beat Detroit, they're going. They're going. I'm talking about the first time. Right. Uh, second seed, I have San Francisco. No, they're not uh, bringing it too far ahead. Very no-brainer. Jim Harborough is, is okay. right now he's a genius. Yeah. Um, he's using that, co that college coaching. And it's working right now. So I had them as my sleeper that. team last year. Yeah. Well, you know, it was a couple of years, you know, they were, they weren't what they should have been. They should have been a lot better. Right. Okay. Uh, I got New Orleans winning their division. Okay. They're going to edge Atlanta out. I just think that with their schedule, they're going to be able to, uh, you know, to win all those games. I agree. Most with that. of them, not all of them. Most of them. Green on these three. Yeah. Now the one I disagree with you is uh, the Dallas and uh, New York Giants. I think Dallas is going to edge New York. It's going to be an interesting game. They play each other in two weeks, and the winner moves on. The loser possibly might not make it. I right. like that, though. Well, the reason I say that is because Dallas's schedule, the rest of their schedule is easy. Plus the fact, I just think Tony Romo is playing his best ball right now right. compared with Eli Manning. See, I think the pressure's on Tony Romo, and I just don't think that he can handle it. I think he'll Tony's falter been at the end. He's been having pressure all season, you know, and he just he just bounces back. Yeah. So you got to give him credit. Um, now, my two wild cards... I have Chicago mm -hmm. um, and Detroit. Chicago and Detroit. Detroit narrowly though. Detroit's okay. gonna gonna get to the playoffs. They just gonna get into the playoffs um, because they have a, a really hard schedule. Um, hard schedule. If they can go five hundred, they will get into the playoffs. So I got them. So you got the Giants missing it. You got the Giants, Giants missing it. And the Atlanta playoffs. Falcons, huh? Those are some good teams. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go right into my matchups right here. This is interesting here as far as my matchups go, because in my first round. I have New Orleans playing Detroit again, which they'll play in Week 13, and that'll I believe Detroit will win that game and get into the. It'll be a playoff clincher darn near for them, and then I got them meeting in the first round again. But this time I have New Orleans winning the football game when it comes down to playoff time. So I got New Orleans moving on past the first round, and then my second game, which is interesting, is the two teams that you have missing the playoffs. I have the Giants versus Atlanta, and I actually have Atlanta winning that game and advancing to the second round. What do you got in your first round then? Okay, my first round, you know, we do agree on the Detroit New Orleans matchup. Yeah. And I got New Orleans moving on. Yeah. It's gonna be in New Orleans. They have the experience. Detroit's just not ready yet. They're not ready yet. They're gonna get there though. Yeah. I got well. you know, Detroit's definitely gonna be there, but I got New Orleans winning this one. Uh second matchup, Chicago versus Dallas. Interesting matchup. Defense. Defense uh with Chicago and well Dallas has a pretty good defense as well. But I got Dallas winning that. It's going to be in Dallas. Tony Romo's going to be at his best. Chicago, as we know, having quarterback issues. Dallas and New Orleans, huh? Yeah. Okay, well, let's move on to the second round of the NFC then. So, obviously, Green Bay had their bye week. I got them playing Atlanta, being that they were the lowest seed. And I have Green Bay moving on. Too much offense, too much defense. 
a replay of last year's NFC Championship game. It's just going to be another same thing, a little too much Green Bay. <clears throat> and in my second game, I have uh, San Francisco versus New Orleans, which is a very interesting matchup there. But I got New Orleans squeezing by there, too. I think a little too much offense for that defense. Alex Smith just is not good enough yet. <laughs> interesting that you said that. Interesting that you said that. But my first matchup, Dallas versus Green Bay. Really a no-brainer. I mean, Green Bay, there's going to be a Lambeau field. It's going to be cold. Um, like I said, Tony Romo, Tony Romo is playing his best football. But at Green Bay, I just don't see him winning that Not game. Not enough. Tony Romo uh, can't be at the Packers. No, Aaron <clears throat> Rodgers, you know, he's going to be at his best. He has all those weapons. I think they're going to come out with a victory. Uh, the second game, New Orleans versus San Francisco. It's going to be a San Fran. Uh, when's the last time San Fran had a playoff game? It's been a while. So you know the crowd is going to be just obnoxious. Yeah. Um, I just think, you know, Harbaugh is going to be at his best. Alex Smith doesn't have to do too much. You Give the nice. ball to Frank Gore. Yeah. Play good defense. Well, they, they you get past. You Frank Gore is the key in that game, that is for sure. You got Newton, the Niners squeaking that game out, huh? Yes. Oh, yeah. I got okay. the Niners going. Okay, so let me move on to the a uh, NFC Championship. I have we both actually I have Green Bay versus New Orleans, and I do believe that Aaron Rodgers will get through. That'll be a fun, exciting game to watch. They played in Week One. It was very fun to watch. It was nonstop offense. The NFC Championship game, Green Bay moves on to the Super Bowl again. Oh man, you two Green, you two Green Bay happy <laughs> right there. I got San Fran and Green Bay. Game's going to be at Green Bay. It's going to be cold. You know, Aaron Rodgers is is going to be playing pretty good ball. But you know what? I don't think Green Bay's defense is going to be enough for San Fran. San Fran's going to pound the ball. They're going to keep running the ball. They're going to win that game. Okay. We'll so I got San Fran as my NFC champions. Okay. So San Fran is your NFC champions going to the Super Bowl, huh? That's right. Okay. Well, you know, I'll tell you what then. Let's move on to the – waste no time and move right on to the AFC and see how that goes. I'm going to go with my top six seed real quick here. I'm going to go with number one, New England. I think that they're going to breeze their way to the number one seed, of course. Number two is my sleeper. I think they're going to be nonstop elite from here is Baltimore. I think they'll end up taking their division and getting the bye. And then I'm going to move on to my number three seed. I'm going to take the Houston Texans. I believe that Tennessee's right behind them at 5-5. Five and five. Even though they lost Matt Schaub, I still think that with Andre Johnson coming back, Tennessee doesn't have enough to overtake them in that division. And number four is my sleeper here. Oakland's winning the division, but I have San Diego overtaking the game. Overtaking the division. They have a big game at Denver this weekend. They play Oakland again, and I just believe that San Diego will end up taking them in the overall on a tiebreaker. I'm snoozing on that, but go ahead. Okay. Number five, I got I got Pittsburgh making the playoffs. Not winning the division, but going to the playoffs. And on my finals in my sixth seed there, I got the New York Jets squeezing in over Buffalo, Cincinnati, and Oakland, saying all three of those teams choke toward the end. What's your top six? Well, you know, we differ. <laughs> we definitely differ. Yes, we do. We're like salt and that, pepper. That's for sure. It's different. Okay, my number one seed is going to be Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is going to get the, they're getting their old school swag back. Yeah. So you know they're they're playing good ball right Defense, now. Defense, the offense. Yeah. Pittsburgh's always oh, there. Yeah, Roethlisberger is right there. Um, my second seeded team is going to be New England. Um, Bill Belichick, you know he's he's coaching at an all time high right now. Yeah, he has. Um, I think Pittsburgh has too much tough, too too many tough matchups to overtake New England in the number one seed. I guess you look at the rest of their schedule. It's very easy, very easy for Pittsburgh. But New England is my second seed. Those are my two buys: Pittsburgh and New England. Third, I have Houston. Andre Johnson's supposed to be coming back. Um, I believe the next game. Yeah. Um, sure. So, you know, he's coming back at the perfect time because they're playing. They're playing pretty good ball, even though they're having some quarterback issues. Uh, Matt Schaub, I think, is is done for the season, but. Matt no, Leiner, they, yeah. They're they, gonna, Matt yeah, Leiner's Matt gonna, Leiner, oh, they, they, they're, they're in the perfect division with the perfect lead already. Right, right. Now, I have uh, Oakland at, uh, to win their uh, division. So, you got Oakland winning that division. I got Oakland over San Diego and Denver, West. Huh? Yeah, I think they're going to pull it out. I think Carson Palmer is going to reach his, his peak. Big addition. Uh, just don't think they have enough talent and skill addition. position players there, in my opinion. Okay. We got right. number five? Uh, I have Baltimore. Okay, Baltimore. Uh, Baltimore, you know, they're, they're having some issues with injuries. So there's some things that they have to get over. It seems that they play to their competition also. That's why I have them, you know, as, as a fifth seed, basically. Okay. 
Um, actually, they're my wild card team. Sorry. Okay. Now I have the sixth seed team. I have Denver as a, my second wild card. Team. Denver and Oakland, two out of that division. Two now, out of that's that division. A definitely interesting there. Denver, Denver. I'm, well, I'm anxious to see this one. Hey, I, I'm not. You know, I'm I think not... the big pimp of predictions are going to speak for itself. <laughs> it's interesting. We still got six well, weeks left, though. Definitely. Hey, everybody's hating on Tebow. I'm not a Tebow hater. I know he's not the best quarterback in the world, but he wins right now. He has been winning. He has been winning. I just think that when it comes down time to win, he will lose. All right. Well, well tell me about your uh, your AFC. Okay. We'll go through the first uh, round over there in the AFC. In the first round, I got obviously by the seeds. I got Houston playing San Diego, the highest versus the lowest. And then I think that. Uh, Believe it or not, Houston, without the quarterback, will get through in that game. Andre Johnson will do what he has to. They have a good enough defense. And then my second game is an interesting one. Last year's AFC Championship in round one, Pitt versus the Jets. I do think that I think Mark Sanchez, same thing as last year, won't have enough to get through, and Pittsburgh will win that game. What do you got going on there? All right. First matchup, I have Houston versus Denver. Interesting matchup. Denver has a lot of running game in them, but I just believe Houston is too much. Um, they have a lot of weapons, yeah, and do. even with their, their quarterback problems, I think they still win that game. Um, second game, Oakland versus Baltimore. I think Baltimore's defense is going to be too much. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a good it, And it's going to come out there. of defense. Uh, I just think that uh, Oakland is a year away. They're a year away. So, See, I got the ball. Yeah, I got Baltimore as my bye week, so I definitely understand that. So we'll move on to the second round then. In the second round, I got New England <clears throat> versus Houston. And Houston gets by in that round one. Round two, they're done. New England too much. Not enough Houston. No match job. That's going to hurt them. New England, easy. And then in my second game there, I have it. This is an interesting one. Division, game, to move on. Pitt, Baltimore. It's going to be an interesting one, but I have Baltimore. It, they both have a great uh, great defense. Both have a medium Mediocre to good offense. It's going to be a good matchup, and I think Baltimore just toughs it out, not home field advantage, because I had them as my number two seed. <laughs> okay, all right. So we see you have your own opinion. I'm good. I'm glad Big Pimpin has his Ray own Rice. Opinion. Ray Rice going to chew through them. Big Pimpin's opinions. Okay. Well, for me, I have Pitt versus Baltimore. Pitt will win that game. Now, although Baltimore has handled them in the regular season, I think this is Pitt's time to shine. Um, I just think Flacco does not have enough. I think Roethlisberger is, is the Flacco's man. Flacco's yet to prove. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't proven anything. And Roethlisberger has a little shake. It's a great football game. All right, my second one, I have uh, New England versus Houston. New England over Houston. Just too much time, Brady. Um, too much offense. Houston, not okay. enough experience. Okay. And uh, Matt Leiner. Mm -mm. Let's move on to the, um, to the AFC Championship. I have New England versus Baltimore. It's going to be a good football game. Great defense versus great offense. Fortunately, I just think the offense wins. I got New England there, and I got New England versus Green Bay in the Super Bowl, obviously. And when that comes down to that, I'm going to have New England winning the Super Bowl, taking out the champs from last year. So New England's going to be my overall Super Bowl champ. The big pimpin' is going to go New England over Green Bay. Mark it up. Chalk it up. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I have Pitt versus New England, and I have none other than da -da 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 Pitt winning that game. Uh, I think everything, the cards are right for Pitt. I think Roethlisberger is, is going to still uh, play well. Um, New England, I don't think Tom Brady will win another championship for the rest of his career. So who do you Sorry, got, I said it. Who do you got in the Pitt-San Pitt Fran matchup there? Pitt-San Fran mat matchup, I have none other than uh, Pitt. I'm sorry. Pitt, Pitt yeah. to win it all, huh? Pitt to Over win it all. I, as you see, you know, defense, I'm going with you got to have an all defense Super Bowl. It sounds like an under Super Bowl from my man Cletus. <laughs> I don't agree with him as always. But once again, you know, this is Big Pimpin' coming at you with Cletus here for DTV. You know, we'll be back with you next next week for the uh, Big Pimpin' Bowl Selection Sports Show. And I do actually have a Facebook page if you want to get on Big Pimpin' Sports Show. If you want to just log on, make a comment. Peace.